What in the hell are you doing? Dude, I'm out here for the next week. The only way out of this, this place is on, on my own two feet. From the time this little boy came into the world, he was just very alive. And he would always kind of skate through life, causing a ruckus everywhere he went. He represented kind of a lost boy's sort of freedom. When he was three years old, it was actually his father that bought Aaron's first, called a CC50. From the moment he threw his leg over, there was just a synchronicity between he and the bike. I'd twist the throttle, but I'd look back at the same time, and I'd watch the dirt spin out. I, fun is, is too simple of a term. Motocross, you're, you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna have broken bones, but you always pick yourself up to go back out and do it again. I knew he was good. I just also knew that there was trouble ahead. Aaron opened his eyes and looked at me and mouthed the words, I love you, and closed his eyes again. The neurosurgeon told us that Aaron had a one in a million chance of ever feeding himself again. I know I was making movement up sometimes just to keep getting up and going. And if denial is where you are, then that's, that's enough. I still have my son. I didn't like the hospital. Getting a power wheelchair meant I would go down to the other patients and I would tow them. I towed them out of the hospital, down the street, through the Del Taco drive through and then brought everybody back. It was a choice. I had at least a choice to do something. The more angry you get and the more you struggle, the less you can do. Aaron was in the hospital fighting for his life and I was outside of the hospital fighting to ruin my life. The moment you can let go, you can get right down to breathing first and then you slowly start to, to move. Aaron walking for six days in Death Valley would have to equate to your average person climbing Mount Everest. He's not supposed to be doing that. Yeah. 